Good morning, everyone. Dr. Victoria Scarbo here speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. Today is Monday, March 13th. And the moon, as I walk through my garden this morning, is in Sag. It moved into Sag at 3.22 a.m. East Coast time. And uh, there's not too much going on today, uh, aspect was. Um, but this, the moon does make a square to um, Saturn. Moon uh, freshly in Sag makes a square to Saturn freshly in Pisces. Yes, Saturn and Pisces. So um, the Sag moon brings a certain lightness to the day. Uh, you know, the moon uh, last couple of days have been uh, intense, but good, I think. Um, but intense and when the moon goes into Sag we kind of take a little bit of a of a deep breath perhaps uh, 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 just like <sighs> like that you know and then Sag helps us to make sense of the experiences we have in Scorpio it gives us uh, perspective why did we need to go through that why did we you know why did we feel that how was that experience? How did that inform us how to move forward in the future kind of thing? All of that is kind of the purview of Sag. But, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. So there is this, this feeling of wanting to do a little freewheeling today. However, with Saturn and Pisces making a square, things may get in the way. And the thing that strikes me as most likely to get in the way is weather. W-E-A-T-H-E-R, not W-H-E-T-H-E-R, whether you want to or not. No, weather as in rain, snow, all of the rest. One of the things about having Saturn in Pisces uh, consideration that is not really an astrological consideration, it's more of a Kabbalistic consideration, is that the path on the tree of life that is connected to Pisces is the path from the forces of nature to earth, to manifested, uh, manifested reality, as it were. Um, and Saturn does make things real, <laughs> even in Pisces. So over the next three years, the weather is probably going to be more uh, expressive, do I want to say, virulent, um, as the planet of manifestation and create, creating the manifested world is on the path that brings um, the forces of nature to bear upon us. So uh, we're going to have to figure out how to work with Mother Nature. Um, she is not our en enemy, she is our mother. We're going to have to learn to work with the feminine, appreciate our mothers, um, metaphorical and otherwise. And of course, my favorite, one of my favorite themes of all times, the rising of the divine feminine. <laughs> uh, it's happening. It's happening. And, you know, you see... In my state, which is safely blue, thank you very much, the, for, the top three um, state officials, the governor, the lieutenant governor, and the secretary of state, I think it is, are all women. The same is true in Michigan. Of course, in Michigan, we have all those crazy guys who want to kill their beautiful uh, governor. But she's a tough cookie, that one. She was born in Lansing. I don't think she's going anywhere. I wouldn't want to meet her in a dark alley or her friends, so to speak, in a dark alley. Because they'd mess you up. <laughs> Gretchen Whitmer, I, I really like her. Of course, not by no small reason that she, that I, my, my baby girl Gretchen was Gretchen. And now we have another Gretchen. But the Gretchens I've ever met were uh, smaller than, than the norm, but... Mighty, 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 mighty. It's a mighty name, Gretchen. It's German for Margaret. It means pearl. Pearl of wisdom. And uh, I'm sure Gretchen Whitmer has had a fight for that. 
that wisdom. Anyway, that's what's going on, guys. See, not much, so I had to talk a little bit. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, things are blooming. Oh, you can't really see it. Although you can kind of tell because the, the light is different. And uh, the green is starting to pop up. And the buds are starting to bud. And the buds are really, like, coming up. I think you can see it on this tree here. That's potential right there, guys. That's potential. <laughs> Nurture yours. Take care, everyone. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Um, check out my astrology of the week ahead. It's a little long, I know, and a little dense. I know I have to stop doing that, don't I? Um, but it's very interesting. I just find it fascinating. And uh, I want to thank, uh, again, I want to thank Cash Peters for giving me a shout out. It's very kind of him. He did not have to do that. I would not expect it of him, <laughs> but I certainly do. I wouldn't expect it of anyone, actually, but I do certainly appreciate it. Um, when you get a reading, it's kind of a personal thing, you know, and so you may not want to share it with <laughs> what's going on with others, but I appreciate his his uh, kindness and his gentle soul. All right, guys, take care, everyone. Namaste.